an accident. Your vehicle is smashed. Oh. Thank you for helping. I will be pleased to accompany you to a town, but first, I have some men to kill. Oh, I see. Are they your enemies? Bandits. They have taken the well near here. The well? What for? I don't know. But they refused me water from a well my people have always freely used. That's where I happen to be going to. May I ask why? For you, it is no more than a hole in the desolate Hogar. I'm an archaeologist. I believe there is an undiscovered Egyptian site in the area surrounding that well. Oh. You realize that Egypt is thousands of kilometers to the east. Yes, I know this. The evidence I have leads here, that's all. Mm, I suppose it is possible. Yeah, that's what I thought. I am leaving now. You may stay here. I will be back later. Okay, thanks. Um, take care. Bandits at my well? I have to see this. Behold, Pharaoh, he is dying but cannot die. Now Pharaoh dies. Now his soul is weighed against the feather of judgment. Pharaoh is doomed. All is lost. Catastrophe. Pharaoh's soul is pure. It flies up to the heavens. Benu! Pharaoh is dead and awaits rebirth. Come, lead his soul back to life.
Pharaoh is reborn. Death has been vanquished. We are born anew.
Use this to throw the spear. Now you are no longer hunted. You are the hunter. I mean you no harm. Some guards are chasing me. Are you a thief? Under the bed. Mistress, a thousand pardons, but there's a thief in the house. Oh, I have heard nothing, but I promise I will lock and bolt my door. I should not be far, mistress. I owe you my life, lady. Ask of me anything, and it will be yours. Anything? Are all thieves so sure of themselves? Are all merchants daughters? Hmm. I long for a rose. A cart full, at least. A rose as black as a moonless night. A black rose? Not an easy request to fulfill. Indeed, Great One, some would say impossible. But the thief had fallen in love and... Poor misguided wretch. He happened to know of a wizard's garden some distance from the city. Perhaps there he would find a rose as black as a moonless night. And how did your thief gain entry to this wizard's garden? Another jar? No, my caliph. This time he sneaked over a wall. Genie? And you, a thief? And now I get my three wishes? One wish. Just one? What in the world do you desire most? Mm -hmm. Think well. A rose. Black as a moonless night. Can you get that for me? <laughs> one black rose. It's beautiful. Ha 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 ha! Very well, thief.
No, genie. I found you when I summoned you. What is your wish, wizard? Why, the most precious treasure in the world, naturally. So be it. Your treasure, wizard. That thing. It looks like a misshapen skull. And I doubt it will serve any purpose of yours. Farewell. Let's see. Oh. A curious dream. What was it that the creature said? I'll try again tomorrow. Princess Sharazad, I wish you to tell me a tale to while away the hours of darkness. Something I haven't heard before. I hear and obey. It is related that in the city of Baghdad, a certain thief... Oh, I've heard it. I've heard it. I can promise you, you haven't. Hmm? Very well. Go on. This young rascal managed to enter the courtyard of a rich merchant. Well, that is a surprise. He sneaked over a wall, as usual. No, my lord. He was inside a northern jar, delivered to the merchant's kitchen. Ah, of course. The old earthen jar trick. And then? He stayed hidden till the moon floated high above. What? No rose? And no sign of the wizard? Patience, O oh great one. All will be revealed. The thief then turned the key and entered the serpent tower. By the prophet's beard. Was he not afraid? Perhaps. But he was also curious and determined to find what he sought. And before sunrise, he had slipped once more into the merchant's house and laid the rose on his sweetheart's pillow. A wondrous tale. But what of the crystal skull he took from the wizard's tower? It is related that he sold it to a heathen traveler and spent the money on buying camels and was blessed with great good fortune. Soon, he was himself a wealthy merchant. He asked for and was granted his beloved's hand. They had many obedient children. Will you tell me the tale of the magical skull? I beg you. Oh, Caliph of the Age, I would. But that is a story whose ending has yet to be written. Tomorrow, I will free the well. Yes, but tonight you will stay with me. I have a secret I wish to share with you. Ah! <laughs> 
Here is the story I have to tell. It is not long since the death of King Solomon. The Pharaoh Shoshek has invaded Judah and besieged Jerusalem. The city keeps its freedom by surrendering every last treasure from its temple and palace. Among the prizes is an unusual skull of crystal. Some of Pharaoh's men, members of a secret group whose ancestors came from lost Atlantis, see the skull. And although unable themselves to penetrate its mystery, they realize it contains power and far-reaching knowledge. Egypt, no longer the land of lotus eaters, is in decline. These men decide to steal the skull and hide it in a place of safety, far away in the barren west, where plundering armies never march. That secret place is here. One day, when it can or must, mankind will learn the secret in the skull.